Well, hello again. Today, we are heading to Panorama Point, the summit of Nebraska. Let's go. Because of those people in Kansas, I'm going to be very careful when approaching anything that looks like mud. This looks temporary, so let's gun it! Yeah! Two wheel drive minivan! Would you look at that? We made it to the highest point in Nebraska. Elevation 5,424 feet. Today is 615. There was uh, someone else here. And a couple of 13s, a lot of 13s. Nice little bench watch the sunset. So this is the high point. Kind of neat. You can see in a lot of different directions. But that's it for me today. So I'll see you in the next one. Hello, good morning. Today we are going to the top of South Dakota, which is Black Elk Peak. Uh, you start in Custer State Park and you head into a national forest or wilderness. And yeah, it's quite the climb today. So we start at 6,100 feet and we're going just above 7,100. But with the ups and downs, it's 1,300 feet of elevation gain in about seven miles round trip. So this one I have to work a little bit for, but it's a perfectly clear sky. And it's nice and sunny, and it's going to warm up really nice today, so I'm looking forward to it. Not much else to say besides, uh, let's do this. So beautiful trail so far and just the scenery is just great this black hills area is just phenomenal yeah i'm making pretty good progress uh more quickly than i thought i would i didn't get much sleep last night i uh I was parked in a national forest land and I went to bed decently early, like 9.30 or something. And then I woke up at 12.20 and I heard some rustling inside the van. And I sat up and I was just like listening to it and like, what in the world is this? Is this something outside touching it underneath? What's going on? And it sounded like some rodent was inside like the bodywork or underneath the van so i sat there trying to figure out what in the world to do and the best i came up with was just to head into town uh, i was 25 minutes outside of custer south dakota so it's like okay i can just drive in there um you know maybe the driving will help you know wrestle it out or be like hey like get out of here don't stay here i was also concerned that it might chew through a hose or a wire and then the van wouldn't be able to start or something like that and if that was going to happen i'd rather be stranded in the city than you know eight to ten miles on some forest service road so i went into town went to a gas station because the pumps everything was totally lit walked around looked underneath 
couldn't see anything that was out of the ordinary. I wasn't expecting anything. So then I just drove somewhere at a park just to sleep for the rest of the night. And I heard a little bit of rustling. So like, okay, it's still in the van. So parked there, slept. And then by that point, it was like 1.20 when I went to bed. And then got up at 5 to get an early start today. And still heard a little bit of rustling, wrestling. So we'll uh, see. Yeah, strange problem. Haven't had that before. So. so we are headed up to there. It's a couple hundred more feet. We we're just about at the top. We get to go to some pretty neat stairs. Fire lookout. The Harney Peak Fire Lookout Dam and Pump House were built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in 1939 and are listed in the National Register of Historic Places. Harney Peak elevation is 7,242 feet. The peak is the highest point east of the Rocky Mountains and west of the Pyrenees Mountains of Europe. I can only imagine living up here. So there is a basement to this place. This is easier than I expected. Uh, the coffee that I had this morning gave me a pretty good BM. Set me off right to doing this. And yeah, we're on our way. Now to head back down, we're gonna take an alternate trail and make this a clockwise loop. So let's go. I'm glad I took this other out back. It's just a little bit different. It's a little bit more open compared to the way up. We've had a lot more trees on both sides. You get a lot closer to the cathedral spires, which are nice to look at. But yeah. A very good day today. We are back 
at the trailhead. So, it's pretty enjoyable. Uh, enjoyed this one. So yeah, on to the next one. So that's where we're heading. To White Butte, North Dakota. And when you look at that, this place is popular. Hmm. Rattlesnakes. Not something I was expecting. So, this one is a short one. The parking lot did go all the way to the end. So 1.4 mile round trip, only 350 feet elevation gain. So should be pretty nice. And there it is. How easy of a hike this was. Almost there. Yeah. This is a really cool area. And this is shorter, but I noticed a lot more flowers on this hike compared to Black Elk Peak. The one interesting thing I noticed with this is at the parking lot, there was a bench that w was sitting there without legs. And it's the bench that have been at all the other, the majority of the other high points that I've been to. And it's put in by like the High Point Foundation or something. Um, up here, we currently have this bench. So they're gonna replace this bench and put in the other one, kind of neat. So that's gonna be it for the high points for this trip. I'm just gonna run back to the car and uh, continue my way up to Theodore Roosevelt National Park and uh, enjoy some time up there. So catch you later.